about Wikimedia's uh, new project called Wikidata, which I'm working on. Um, I'm doing community communications for it at Wikimedia Germany. Um, but let's start with who of you have, has actually edited Wikipedia before? Okay, that's not too bad. Who of you found it easy? I thought so. <laughs> um, and we're trying to um, create a world where every human being can freely share the sum of all human knowledge. Um, none of you found it easy to edit Wikipedia. So we are not reaching this goal yet. Which is why we're uh, running a few initiatives that uh, are supposed to help with that. Wikimedia has a, a number of projects. Uh, These are the current ones um, that are all supposed to help distribute free knowledge. The most famous one of those, Wikipedia, with a huge number of edits uh, in a huge number of articles and in nearly 300 languages. The second most famous one, uh, Wikimedia Commons, uh, which for those who do not know it, is a central place where we store free multimedia files that are used in Wikipedia but also outside of it. So if you need free um, images, um, this is the place to go. But there's issues. The first one, um, all of this is pretty low tech. So if you look at this um, map, at this table, this is updated by hand whenever something there changes. So someone needs to go and edit this table by hand. That is not good. All of this data could be in a database and just simply be queried. But someone has to do it by hand query. Right? Um, the next problem, editor retention and recruiting. This is what you see when you uh, edit the article on um, type in the English language Wikipedia, no one really likes this, I believe. And if anyone is going to tell me that this is really easy, um, I will um, have a beer with one. And the last one, um, coverage and reach. So this is a map of all the geotagged articles on English Wikipedia. Uh, meaning, if there is, for example, an article on Taipei, there's a dot um, in that area where Taipei is. So, you can see a pretty good picture of the work. Now, if you look at the French Wikipedia, you already see less. And you go to Italian, well, a little bit less. And then you go to Greek, Turkish, Chinese. This is pretty depressing um, because it means that we are not reaching our goal of providing access to all human knowledge uh, to everyone. Which is where Wikidata is one of the projects that uh, is supposed to help with this. Um, as I already said, we have Wikipedia Commons, which distributes images to all the Wikipedias, but also other projects and other websites. It's a central place basically to store these uh, images and videos and songs. Now, uh, Commons gets a little sister called Wikidata that does basically the same, but for <coughs> But for data, it's a it's a repository of the world's knowledge um, that can be uh, read and edited by by anyone. It's multilingual, 
and of course it's free software. But it's better if I actually show you this. So this is the current state of uh, Wikidata. The item about type A. So what you see there is that um, this is about Taipei, the capital of Taiwan. Um, that it's that it has other names, and I told Wikidata that I also speak German, Spanish, and Latin. So it also shows me what it knows about it in German, Spanish, and Latin. And then there are a few um, statements about uh, Taipei, for example. Uh, that is in the Republic of China, that it has a lot of Twin Cities. You guys have a lot of Twin Cities. Really? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Did you know that you have this many Twin Cities? <laughs> I thought so. Um, right, and then um, that it is a city, that it has different um, districts, and a time zone, the head of government, image of the flag. of all the Wikipedias that have an article about Taipei, which is 101 of 268 currently. So there's still stuff to write on Wikipedia. It's not done. And then um, there's links to Wiki Voyage, which is a Wikimedia's travel guide. Um, also, more articles to write. Um, I think we might now have 16 with the voyage sites. Right. And then we can look at um, Taipei 101, for example, um, which is a skyscraper. Again, what it knows about it in the other languages I told it about. Um, where it is, who owns it, the architect, where it is important. <laughs> Um, right, and then the Wikipedia articles about it, and no Wikipedia articles about it. There should be one. Um, and now I want to um, show you a few of the things that are special about Wikipedia. So right now, look, this was all, we're just putting stuff in there, and yeah, and I can put that in any database, basically. But, um, Wikidata is special because of a few reasons. So this is a, a page about Russia. And here, for example, you can see that um, since uh, 12th of June 1999, um, it's a sovereign state. So you can um, actually tell it since when something um, happened, or in this case, you could, in this case, it doesn't make sense, but you could also. Um, when you, for example, enter a number of inhabitants of a city, then you could enter things like um, how you got to the number. Was it an estimation or did someone actually really count? And so on. So you can qualify the information that you have and make it more precise. Um, and then you're able to, to add sources for all these statements to make sure that you actually know where this is coming from. So in this case, uh, the foundational text for Russia being a um, sovereign state is this, and I'm not going to try to pronounce this. <coughs> so, and the other thing that's important, this has all been in English so far, right? But not everyone speaks English, of course. So we can also 
Um, switch, please. And now um, you have part of this translated into Chinese. Um, here you can see that uh, has not yet been translated by anyone. So again, there's a lot to do if you want to take part. Um, but in theory, a lot of this can be used in, in many, many languages. some of the problems that Wikimedia has. It allows a lot, a lot of micro-contributions, so you can just translate a small thing or enter a source for a statement. Uh, these are all really easy and um, things that you can do in a few minutes. This hopefully helps to get more people to, um, to do a lot of small things instead of uh, having to write, for example, a whole article on Wikipedia, which is really, really hard for them. Um, as I showed you, support for a lot of languages, and especially for the small languages, uh, this is going to be really, really useful. Um, <coughs> it allows uh, easy data entry and editing. Um, so what I showed you, you, you can just edit there, have a nice form instead of having to, to do this all in wiki text and so on. And since this is all structured data, it's very easy to, to edit it, for example, with the bot, um, and automate a lot of tasks that are currently still done by hand, that do not need to be done by hand. And this is what this maps lo map looks like after 40 days of use on Wikidata. So this is currently all the uh, geo-coordinates that are in Wikidata which is already more than we've seen on the image for the English language Wikipedia. So Wikidata is already providing access to a lot more um, diverse information also. And here you can see how over the last 40 days people have entered um, information into Wikidata. So this is growing pretty fast and people are doing um, this pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, so, but as I said, this is not just for, for Wikipedia or all the other Wikimedia projects. It's also for, for projects outside uh, Wikimedia that want to make use of uh, such a huge amount of uh, freely available data. So, what you get if you, if you use Wikidata is, of course, access to a large database of multilingual data that has references. Um, that is under an open license and that you can use for free. You can access it via an API and um, it is edited and maintained by a large community, so it's not just a, a huge pile of data that no one will ever look at again. It's uh, actually just like a Wikipedia living um, source of knowledge. And uh, since it's free software, you can actually run your own Wikidata instance if you want to do something like that. If you, for example, want to do something specialized. 
And now I want to show a few things. Um, people have already built on top of the data. So for example, um, <coughs> this is a tree of life based on the data in Wikidata. So you can click through all the um, species uh, that we have in Wikidata. Um, this is uh, someone built a, a simple query interface. So you can, for example, ask Wikidata for all the uh, geographical features that are not in an administrative unit, so for example cities that are not in a country, and it will show you which of those that are so that you can easily uh, fix that. Uh, this is a, um, this shows um, relationships between people, in this case for Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, so you can see who is um, mother, father, grandfather, and so on. Uh, was and you can do this for any person in Wikidata. Um, this is pretty new um, and basically just a fancy visualization of um, the pictures that Wikidata knows about uh, a certain topic plus all the all the names that uh, has, which is quite nice to look at, right? And uh, this is a really simple hack. Then, um, as you saw, all these pages on Wikidata are not very visual. Um, so, and this is basically because Wikidata needs to be able to uh, represent a rep large um, pool of of different things. Um, so some people have uh, built more specialized stuff. So for example, this is a tool that shows you pretty pages for people and animals. So in this case, it shows the picture and um, layouts this in a, in a very nice way. Um, so uh, and then you can see all the um, articles and all the videos about this person. Um, all the books he authored, and some uh, related media to this person. And last but not least, I hope this works now. <laughs> um, so this is basically a page where uh, you can ask questions in natural language, and it will try to find the answer in the uh, data. And it sometimes does not like me, but let's see. What is Taipei? Was Albert Einstein married to?
So right now I cannot do this, but it's very likely extremely easy to do. So because our time is almost out, so if you have any questions, I think you can ask Lydia like right. later. Yeah, so let's... I, will, I will be outside and I will have t-shirts. I do not want to take them home. So <laughs> <laughs> please so, come and get t-shirts. So let's thanks Lydia again for her wonderful speech.